Another variation um, that you could see that will be some problems would be an empty set. Um, take us through what we see here and, and uh, the problems it presents. What I like here is that when you're an empty, and you see this a lot when you watch him in his Houston days, is that he, is, he processes information very well. So right here, he's just seeing a zone coverage. He sees the flat defender. He sees uh, Woods run a little pro route, a little stick route, and Njoku's going to be in the flat. And that flat defender simply gets a little bit of depth, and he just puts the ball into Njoku for an easy, you know, 10-yard gain. It doesn't look like much, but the ball's out. He processes the information. He understands his zone coverage. And what empty does is it gives him – it makes a defense declare what they're going to be in. Uh, it really uh, makes a defense very simple and very easy to read when you're now you have to protect it, which could be an issue at times. But in terms of what you're seeing in a secondary, it gives you a clear picture. And he processes information very well. And then he takes that information and turns it uh, and uses his arm talent. And that's kind of what's made him a top five guy uh, back when he was with uh, Houston. And the the way I kind of described that the last game was it looked effortless, and it was because he was recognizing it, and, and there's literally nothing a defense can do because it's out so quickly. Yeah, and when you say effortless, that's that's the combination of processing and arm talent. So you're absolutely right. So his ability to see what he's seeing and then just make a catchable ball. And all his balls are not um, thrown 100 miles per hour. They're all, they have the perfect touch on them. They're very catchable. They're out front. Um, so yeah, that's what you what you see from him when you terms of those third down runs and those uh, being an empty and being able to make a guy miss on the uh, boot and waggles. Those are all high level uh, skills that he has that he makes look very easy. That throw right there, that's an opposite hash. He's throwing an arrow route, not the easiest throw, not the hardest throw for an NFL quarterback, but not the easiest either. So he makes all those things look really, really easy. And I've always said this, if a quarterback knows where he's going with the football, the throws become a lot easier. And he is starting to see the information in front of him. Still has a ways to go, still missing some stuff, but he, it's, getting, it's getting back to where it's becoming very fluid for him. Uh, another one, um, you know, the, he does have a, a, an elite arm, and, and this next one kind of shows us. Take us through how special this one is. Well, this would be one of the levels concepts I'm talking about off play action. So another variation just to start is that they don't completely boot him out um, like they do on stuff. So they're still faking their outside zone. The offensive line doesn't care, which is always my key. The offensive line is faking zone left, and that's what they want to do. They want to have the same rules. So he's actually going to fake zone left. He's going to roll, semi-roll to his right. So from the right hash, he's going to throw a 15-yard out to the left boundary. It's really hard to put into words how incredibly <laughs> gifted and talented this is this is a uh very few nfl quarterbacks can make this throw make this throw in general but make it look this easy it's a very hard momentum he's got to plant his feet he's got to uh you know he's got to get his weight going forward transfer that weight this is hard to put in this looks easy like you said he makes things look easy this is about as high level as you get at the nfl in terms of throws angles um there's not a lot of room there. There's good coverage. It's super impressive. 